So, yeah. I just kind of want to come on here and give my take on the Sonya Massey situation. It's everywhere. Y'all done heard it a thousand different ways. But I'm going to tell y'all this. I just really had to, like, absorb it and take it all in. Um, <clears throat> before I could speak on it, honestly. Um, I felt like when he showed up, he was already on one. He just needed a fucking reason. And he took whatever she said as a go-ahead. Now, if you grew up in the church, when you hear somebody say, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, they are basically um, taking any will, ill will or intent formed against you and basically repelling it. And that's what she did. He said what he said, and she like, oh, no, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. And he literally took that as, huh. <laughs> Oh, you causing me harm? And no, she was not. She was actually rebuking any ill tent that was forming against him. And I honestly feel like he just a racist. Like, he just needed a reason. And I'm still trying to figure out how did she end up the victim in all of this when she was the one who called the police because she thought somebody was at her house. But that's neither here nor there. Um, if they thought more of us, and when I say us, I say black people, if they thought more of us, sh shit like this would not go down. And every time situations like this happens, it's a constant reminder that they don't fuck with us. It's a constant reminder that anything can fucking happen. And we are not protected. It's a constant reminder that we are never going to even be considered a human being because the way he did that woman and all of his fellow officers just sat there and watched if we was in a court of law and i was a witness to any crime i would be an accessory and i would go down too so therefore i feel like all of those officers who sat by and watched that should be an accessory because they could have stopped it and they didn't they watched him slay an innocent woman who didn't mean him no ill intent. He took her from her kids. And what? Y'all trying to tell me this isn't race, racially motivated? Would he have done that if her skin was lighter? Or she was of another race it's crazy because to me every race in this country has some type of rights but us he would not have done that and yeah y'all could say that i'm reaching or whatever the fuck the case may be but it still boils down to the facts they don't really give a fuck about us because if they did he wouldn't feel that comfortable and then after it was all said and done he called her a crazy bitch. If that don't speak volumes, I don't know what to do. But yeah, rest in peace. Shit, I can't even say that. That don't even feel comfortable coming out of my, my mouth. Man, I'll vengeance for Sonya Massey. I hope her, her people get out of the, the revenge that they possibly can. Because at this point, how many of us that do we have to keep on burying in order for it to make sense? And how many of them get to walk free because they having a fucked off day? It's just, it's beyond me. And, and, and when we gonna stop being one third of a human being, like, at this point, 
I don't even understand how y'all not even more angrier. <laughs> Cause I'm beyond pissed. Like, and it's so sad. We so we are so um, torn apart in our communities. Like, we let the littlest shit tear us apart. We can't even come together when it's time to. But that's a whole nother topic, man. Say her name. <laughs>